Republican Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis, the ranking members on the House Foreign Relations Committee, joins me now. Uh, Congresswoman, thank you very much for being here. You know, uh, on Friday, uh, Iran announced that they had enriched uranium to the highest levels ever. Uh, so why would that produce a good moment for the United States to say that, you know, we are willing to sort of back off on some of these sanctions if you are willing to come to the table? That's exactly right, Martha. I think that everyone should be concerned uh, that President Biden is look, looking to waver on what was a maximum pressure campaign by the Trump administration. And we, as members of Congress, want to make sure that we're playing a role in this process and that there's some oversight. And that is why we've introduced legislation that would require a return to the Iran deal to be ratified uh, by the Senate in a treaty. Uh, this is something that we feel very strongly that the same negotiations Negotiators that were the ones that negotiated the Iran deal are, are, are playing, uh, you know, diplomats and representatives for the Biden administration now. So it is deeply concerning that they would consider lifting sanctions without making sure that there were a number of concessions and particularly measures that we want to see put in place, uh, which would include stopping uh, funding to terrorist organizations, ensuring that we see the return of hostages, particularly Mr. Namazi, who they were supposed to return him after the last deal and never did. Um, but there are a lot of issues here that, and, and, and if you speak to our allies and you speak to either the UAE or Israel, they're telling us that they don't want to return to the, is the Iran deal. And I think that's something that we need yeah. to be looking at because, quite frankly, this has weakened Iran. Uh, it has sort of alienated them. And we're seeing uh, the success from the Abraham Accords and new diplomatic relationships for Israel. And certainly this is a concern for everyone in the region mm -hmm. and here in the United States of America well, as we well. We really did see such a change in the dynamic when you saw countries that were not typically uh, together on, on a lot sort of aligning themselves and even talking to Israel. And it really isolated isolated Iran in a very difficult way for them during the Trump years. What what role can the sec the former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo play in this? And it, is there it, it's pretty close between the House and the Senate, Republicans and Democrats. Do you have Democrats who are willing to sign on to this act? It seems that we may have support from some Democratic colleagues, but I think what the Secretary of State can do is continue to openly push this instead of doing it behind closed, door, closed doors, as his predecessor had done, uh, undermining him. He's doing it publicly, and he's making sure that we fight to ensure that we are getting these concessions that are much needed, complete access for inspections, yeah. uh, include ballistic missiles as well, and all of that needs to be part of this discussion. Absolutely. Uh, 